So one of the great things about the Design Center 3.0 build is the customizable DIN enclosure view where you're allowed to add and manage all of the DIN products in your project inside of an enclosure view whereas before they were specifically found only in the area view or bus view. So those projects either internationally or domestic US that have a fair number of DIN products can use the graphical editor and enclosure view to add and manage DIN controllers and DIN modules and the like. So for example, we've created a DIN enclosure here by right clicking on DIN enclosure and saying add DIN enclosure. You can add as many as you need. So in this case I've added one already for us and I put a controller in here that automatically added the 36 volt power supply as well. So one of the nice things about the graphical editor is the ability to snap objects and move them around. So for example, I wanted to move my DIN controller to this side and have the power supply on the left side or vice versa. So you can snap things uh, around objects. Additionally, if I click on my enclosure, I can also change the width. So the DIN modules per row. So let's say for example, I want to move it to a little bit wider. I can. Or as an example, I wanted to change my row count to uh, three. Um, so now I'm down to three, or maybe I want to go back to four, or I can go five, six, seven, whatever it is that I need to do. So in this case, uh, we're working with specifically DIN products. So I'm going to go over to my stations and wire link, and I'm going to start dragging in specific uh, DIN product that I'll be using for this project. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use a uh, standard dimmer station or an ele electronic dimmer station or a uh, low voltage relay station. All of these products are available underneath stations and wireling because they also run on the standard bus. So I'm going to start by adding a DIN ELDS 4-1-DIN. Uh, one of the nice things you can do is you can either right click and add a load um, and it's going to add a specific uh, load as per your project defaults. In this case mine are incandescent at 100 watts or you could right click and actually say populate and it will put all of the loads in that particular uh, product. Now also available uh, for use inside of DIN enclosures in addition to all of the DIN products are these miscellaneous uh, DIN module products. So for example this DIN line feed. Now I'm going to bring in this DIN line feed and I'm going to move his voltage let's say uh, I'm using this internationally so I'm going to go to 240 uh, volts and I'm going to assign this station to that line feed. So I come in, I drag down, I select. Let's add another DIN line feed. Uh, and let's also make him. Now I could in my project preferences make these all default at 240 but my projects are typically 120. I'm going to now add a DIN ULDS which is a universal load dimmer station so forward phase or reverse phase. I'm also going to assign him to a line feed, that secondary one that we brought in. I could add uh, additional uh, relay stations, like the standard relay station, and I could say populate. And now I've got a whole bunch of high voltage relay loads. Or I could add the new N3O and newly released product, the RS8 uh, L-DIN, and I could say populate as well. So now I'm not only creating all of the uh, all of the products that I need from a DIN perspective but also the loads that will be going in. If I wanted to I could add CISs or I could go back up to my uh, miscellaneous and I could add for example third-party DIN modules. What happens in a lot of cases is we have uh, projects where you're mixing and matching different elements inside of the DIN enclosure. So in this case, maybe it's a six module unit and we've also added the ability to change the color. So I want this guy to be a nice lime green. There you go. And he actually needs to be in between these two. So by dragging and dropping or swapping, I can maneuver these elements around. Notice that the contact inputs uh, stations have the contacts already pre-populated uh, as a part of that. And notice that in the graphical editor I do have all of my loads and I can click on those and have them come up inside of the object editor so I can specifically manage name assign the wattage and I could even test with a yellow V in a live connection I could be testing these loads to confirm where they physically are landed in the project 
So those are the exciting things about uh, the data enclosure view that we wanted to make you guys aware of.